I had that intro a little too loud. And I've got... Oh, look at all this stuff happening here. It's technical problems again. There we go. We're on track. Um, by myself today. Tyler. Tyler's not here today. We can get into the reasons why. But we just won't. We won't. Um, I want to introduce my guest right away here let's let's get into this so today we uh we've got a little uh we got a little mark square thing happening going on here <laughs> uh, mark with a k though so you know i can be the c you can be the k how are you today mark i'm good how are you good good um it's it's been nice out it's been busy how are things mark i mean nice out is uh being generous it's been stinking hot yeah it's been unbearable <laughs> Are you a fan? Are you a fan or like not so much? No, I can't handle this. I'm not made, built for this at all. No. What's your what's your like like your ideal temperature? I I like what I moved to BC for. So I grew up in Montreal and we had stinking hot summers, freezing cold winters. Yeah. And then I came to BC in 2007. Yeah. And just this mild climate throughout was what sold me on the place. So yeah. I overpaid for my house like everybody else. And then the temperature changed on me. Uh, why did they do that on you? Why did right? they do that to you? Really yeah, so mean. <laughs> so Mark, you're, you're, for, you're with iTero. Um, we've, we've had some, you know, we've, we've had some chats, long chats about uh, technology and stuff. And um, with, with James, our buddy, James Nuver over at Ocean Ceramics, um, really getting into the, like the digital game of things. And, um, one thing that constantly comes up is, you know, the investment of equipment in your office and, you know, James's look at it as, um, you know, that, that doesn't change the fact that it like, it's going to be easy. Like there's, there's things to, to learn and new workflows and, you know, in terms of a, a of a intraoral scanner, it's not going to, um, it's not going to like perfect that impression there's there's definitely a technique involved in everything so um this is the the world that you you uh you know live breathe sleep cry probably a little bit a little bit (laughs) and um i really like i want to pick your brain today about the spectrum of products um and I, i think you know we could really you could really take this you know the iTero lineup of products, and and kind of put it out there to other various tools that you can use in your practice. Now I want to get into like what the ROI on a basic level scanner would get versus like the top of the run, like cutting edge technology would get you. You know, there's a bit of an extra investment in dollars, but you know if we can if we can kind of step aside from looking at that sticker shock. And really get into what this tool is going to do for your practice. Um, ultimately, that that's that's the argument, right? That that you, I bet you, you face every single day. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, there's so much to unpack here in the first minute of speaking. Yeah. But you know, you talked about digital and how you know it's that next step and how easy it is to to plug and play and move about your day. It's not that easy, right? No. Digital is easy. Ultimately, in your life, that iPhone has changed my life. Yeah. When it was first introduced, it turned my world upside down, right? right. It's a disruptor in what you know as the norm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, one thing right off the bat that I've always been very successful with is, of course, that support unit, right? It's it's so important with digital. Mm-hmm. No scanner, no matter how expensive, cheap, or how good the Google reviews are is gonna be plug, play, you're a whiz with not only the scanning, but how to integrate into your practice. It doesn't mm-hmm. work that way. No, for sure. And a- again, you know, if you're if you're looking at, like if for doctors out there that are getting into the iOS scape and like they haven't got one yet, like what, where, where have you been? What rock are you living under? Um, but really, truly, it really is, you know, a huge component to factor in is the whole s- support behind it all yeah. um and why that's important is you've invested in this piece of technology 
you want to use it to its full potential, what it was built to do in the practice. Is that a kind of a correct assessment? Yeah. Yeah. So let's, let's start, let's start from the, from the, like the floor. So, you know, there are some docs out there that, um, you know, they're, they're, they're just scratching the surface. They just want to scan, right? They want to digitize their, their impressions. Um, let's, let's start there. Like what, what is a doctor going to get with just the basic door entry level, uh, piece of equipment? Yeah. If your goal is to replace impression material now, it's not complicated to do. You know, if there was a scanner that came out there and said like, oh, ours is very accurate or ours is going to be that much better at replacing your PBS. It's kind of a ridiculous argument at this point. Every scanner will get a crown to fit. It's not a huge feat in today's world. And when we even talk about accuracy, mine's two to three microns, mine's five to seven microns, mine's nine to 11 microns, who cares? It's extremely accurate and precise. The statistics are there, the studies are there. We see a reduction in remakes coming from the lab side, you know that, right? Um, so, you know, we're really splitting hairs, literally splitting hairs. A uh, uh, hair is, you know, anywhere from uh, 10 to 50 microns. So we're splitting hairs here at this point compared to PBS, right? So the goal is just to replace PBS, that base model will do it. You'll do all your crown and bridge and implants and inlays and onlays and partials and dentures and Invisalign, all of that night guards, right? But if you're looking to have more of a investment versus an expense, now we're talking a different story. So two- like, how do you right. like, yeah, let's, let's get into that. Like, let's, yeah. how do you, how do you bridge that then? Like when you're presenting a, a scanner, um, with somebody that's just kind of like getting their boots wet. Um, are you kind of going through the whole family of, of products? No, I'm not going through the whole family. Typically, I talk most about the most advanced and the least advanced. Mm-hmm. You got to think, you already said the comment, Mark. It's where we are right now is, you know, how do you not have a scanner yet? Every single practice is moving towards scanners. Mm-hmm. But we're way past the early adopter stage, right? So right. all the advanced scanners have been bought. They're already in use and they're using it and integrated into, into the practice in ways you couldn't even begin to imagine, right? It's taken it to that next level. If you're buying, just looking at scanner now for the first time, I'm absolutely willing to talk to you about the most advanced scanner out there. But you might need something a little more simple to get your foot, your, your toes in the water a little bit, because you, you realize this, you're late to the game. Mm-hmm. So let's, let's start here. So, um, I'm, I'm, a a, a, a you know, a, a dentist that's just like, just getting in there. Like what, what would you, what wise words would you give me, um, when I'm, when I'm getting in, like just scratching the surface? like anything else it's just about your own personal goals right Mm -hmm. it's sure it's going to have an impact whether you're fresh out of school and coming out with a big huge debt or you've been you know quite successful in your career and you have a bit of a bank account obviously that's going to play an impact but either way you can come straight out of school and have the biggest ambitions i'm going to go out right off the gate and i'm going to buy a 20 op practice (laughs) um, and i want it to be the most gorgeous high-tech thing ever or i've been doing a long long time i have all the money in the bank but things are good the way they are. My drill and fill is working well for me. Why change anything? Yeah, I guess it's truly about the, you know, the the practice and and the individual and what they're looking to accomplish. Um, So let's, let's, let's walk up the stairs here. So what does, what does the next level of scanner get from the bottom? Like what, in terms of ROI, like what is that piece of technology doing that, the basic one can't. Yeah. So the basic one will, as I said, do all your crown bridge, all your restorative stuff. It'll submit your Invisalign cases um, and it'll start the conversation with the patient. Mm -hmm. You know, there's this thing called a bite map, right? Which most scanner systems have some form of seeing where the contact points are on the teeth. Mm -hmm. That's a good starting point. And just having that 3D model on the screen, you could turn it around, you know, interactive 3D, uh, monochrome color, whatever it is, to start pointing some things out. There's mm-hmm. only so much you could do with one angle of an intraoral photo, 
with trying to hold a mirror in their mouth and they're holding a mirror and you're trying to talk and point things out. You're doing hand gestures about, you know, this is your mouth and we'd <laughs> like to see it like this. There's only so much that can happen. So just having that 3D model on the screen, having that bite map is a starter conversation for sure. So the simple model will do that. Gotcha. Okay. okay. As you start moving up, and I think you showed the slide there. Yep, I had Mark, it up here. Yep. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to walk through every single one of them or anything, but we do have this whole family now that really is whatever suits your needs. So, you know, you move over to the second, the element two. This one's been around for a long time. This is a workhorse. It's done great for us. Um, it's a good scanner. It will roll around the op really nicely. It's got that big screen on it that is meant to be patient facing, right? Which is where Itero really excels versus any other system out there. You know, putting aside the accuracy minor differences or the, you know, size of the, the wand or the speed or whatever, it's the screen is intended to be not only for the clinician. It is not yeah. a tool just for you. It is, I'm going to take your scan, I'm going to turn around and face it to you, and I'm going to tell your whole life story on the screen. Yeah, we were, right. um, I was just, uh, last week, I was in uh, Dr. Benita Mann's practice. Mm -hmm. She she has yeah. a, a beautiful new practice out in, in uh, North Delta, and she's just purchased um, uh, a scanner from you for sure. And she, it's part of her workflow. It's part of taking that, no, taking the patient along the journey. So, yeah. what I can tell what, you, I, I, uh, I got a call last summer, made me laugh. Huh? Um, I tear broke down. It happens. We try mm -hmm. to support you as best as we can. The, it was done. It needed a replacement part. It was going to be 24 hours. Best we could do. Okay. Doctor is on the phone with me. He's like, well, I got like six consults lined up. I'm going to cancel them. Go golfing. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> That's he the... will not do a consult without the iTero anymore right. yeah. because he knows he'll have to redo it and have yeah. the conversation because the patient's going to stand there and like nod nicely, like, uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. everything's going right over their head. Just like you're saying, like, he, there's only so far you can get with this, like the hand gesture type exactly. situation, right? Like, exactly. So it changes your practice completely. Yeah. Um, and like, what's the software? Is it the, the ClinCheck or whatever that you can see the progressional, like when we're now talking about orthodontics and, and Invisalign and that, you can, you know, when you're presenting to the patient, you could sort of, give them a close to realistic uh, view of what things are like, what they're going to be. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So there's, there's a bunch of different software that progresses as you move along the machines. Um, but you mentioned ClinCheck there. That's another thing to take a look at. We mentioned the support already, but I will just say it bluntly. Align is an incredible company. Like I am floored by them every day, week, month, the stuff that they come out with, the money they invest in the business is absolutely insane, mm -hmm. right? You know, I came from the implant world, right? Worked yeah. with a leading implant company and, but still it was me, right? If there's a billing issue, it's me. If there's a shipping issue, it's me. Something's broken, it's me. You want education, it's me. You want to plan a trade show, it's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, from the lab, it's me. You, you wear a lot of hats, yeah. Yeah. At Align, it's we hire so many people for every role. We make up roles as we go because it's decided, hey, we need this to support that customer. Yeah. Right? And I mean, there's an argument to be had that, you know, you might see a piece of equipment that costs X amount of dollars more, but that's what you're paying for. You're paying for that support. You're paying for that 24 hour turnaround because I'll be honest, like I've I've been in that game. You got a piece of equipment and, you know, you're, you're trying to get support for that. And, you know, it's not 24 hours. No, no. I know. I yeah. always find that funny, right? Oh, yeah. your standard's $50,000. It costs, I bet this thing costs 500 bucks to make. Yeah, it probably does. Yeah. But you also want constant innovation in R&D. You want 20-year papers and studies on these things. Yeah. You want a sales force ready at your beck and call. You want tech support to answer within 10 seconds of calling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that stuff costs money. It's a huge pool of thought that's gone like into it, an investment of time, people, yeah. all that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, you know, how do you feel about... Um, you know, obviously you're, you're, you're going to be biased here, but how do you feel about these, these other scanner companies just kind of, 
you know, park in the, the box. And, uh, you know, it's, it's usually uh, like the offer is by the seller in terms of what that support's going to be. But, um, what are your, what are your thoughts there? Like what, what are they miss? What are people missing out on there? So, you know what? I uh, sure I'm a little bit biased, but I, I do have an open mind to it. it. It's positive and negative. I'm actually quite happy they came along because it applies some pressure to the aligns, dense plies, three shapes of the world, um, you know, to maybe adjust their pricing, to adjust their offering, to mm. adjust their support, to come to the market aggressive and ready to play, right? So I know that we've just come out with that um, more cost-effective model, that laptop model, since Medit and Trios and everything started going and cutting pricing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's great. You, you've made a sharpen our pencil and now there's less uh, barriers to entry for those late adopters who are looking to get into scanning. Yeah, right? no, so it's, it's a good outlook. Yeah, like it's yeah. competition forces you to sort of be your at your own best. It's, yeah, it's exactly. the way to look at it. So yeah. on um, the negative though, I do got to say that it, it, it bothers me that when I see a uh, promise of the moon of star and stars, Mm-hmm. by any sales rep in any industry sure and then a product gets sh- dropped off at a door by ups and it's kind of like good luck see yeah. ya oh you and signed your contract right you signed this contract yeah yeah, yeah. i've seen it these, these are i've seen it yeah. yeah i mean i think everybody does have the best intentions obviously um mm-hmm. but sales people you know earn a living by selling so it's tough. I feel, you know, I feel for the clinicians out there with everybody knocking on their door saying that their solution is the best. Yeah. You know, know. Uh, I, I understand the skepticism out there, right? It's tough. So again, to pump kind of our tarot's tires, but I really do genuinely see this is, you know, here I am, Mark, from my tarot. Mm-hmm. That's where I'm from. I'm the manufacturer's rep. I go straight to the product you have a straight line from the product to yeah. you yeah right whereas hey enemy shine paris st Saint, uh, Saint Clair, great companies great reps great knowledge great training great everything mm-hmm. if they have a problem that goes beyond them and have to contact three shape or matter or anything it's no knock on them good luck getting them to answer the phone yeah yeah right? and and the easiest you know the direct path to something is straight right so um yeah. the more you have to click through things or call from one person to the other, it's that person, the go in in between person. It, it, you're you're right. There's no fault on them, no. but it kind of like it's their sh- it's the company's shield almost that you know that rep and like sales the 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 manufacturer the the supplies sales reps out there I think have the absolute toughest job out there being in between wow. it all. Just getting beat beat up. I, I you know, like Mark. I'm sure you get beat up sometimes, but like, at least you have some control, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. So let's let's go to the finish line here. So what what is it that the um a clinician will get when they invest like top of the line? What okay. like let's let's go through the the entire argument of ROI. What 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 pieces are they? getting that are included that would would otherwise not be included with with all the other offerings so what they get with the most advanced which is called the 5d plus is just what itero has built its business on its patient communication and treatment acceptance right mm-hmm. that's the key when you talk to a doctor and they'll say you know what do you, what do you do in your day what, what's your day majority what's your focus they'll often talk about crown and bridge well they're not cutting crowns all day long but they are talking with patients all day long and them and their team, right? Sure, you have two crowns that day, but you also had eight people sit in your hygiene chair. You have two or three hygiene chairs. You have new patient exams. You have consults. You have everything. So mm-hmm. education is everything. The newest scanner there, it's its an unbelievable tool in terms of communication as well as uh, just efficiencies in the practice because when it comes down to it, chair time is everything, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely everything. So. You know, with the 5D Plus, you take a single scan, you're getting the scan, you're getting uh, caries detection, and you're getting intraoral photos. Intraoral photos is not like click one and it's done. It's every eighth of a second while you're scanning, it takes a photo. Wow. So now your team doesn't need to pull out that intraoral camera. 
They don't need to take photos to submit to Invisalign. They don't need photos to submit to insurance, to the lab, whatever it is. So it's efficiency right? that they're buying. Efficiency is huge. Carries detection. I get a lot of doctors. They're kind of like, man, I don't need that. Mm -hmm. You don't. I agree. You don't need it. Mm -hmm. But if I put up, if I'm at PDC and I put up a slide of a bite wing and I say, tell me what you see, I will get 250 different answers. Right. That's a carous lesion. That's not a carous lesion. That's incipient. That's ready to treat, whatever it is. It's just a tool to help you. And it is clear as day to show you that carious lesion. And then with that, what I love about it is patients, again, have no idea what dentistry is. They don't. You, you could ask any clinician, have you ever shown someone a bite wing and pointed things? And they're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they have no idea what they're talking about. You can see the glazed over look in their eye. Yeah. With the caries detection, it just helps. It's like neon white, like this is a yeah. problem. It puts right? a bullseye in it, sure. Yeah. And then beyond that, we just have like all the tools to simulate um, what that final restoration design ortho is going to look like, including in-face. So you can take a picture using the Invisalign app, take one picture of a patient, big, wide, goofy smile, you know, as big as you can get. <laughs> and then I can simulate their ortho treatment and their restorative treatment within a few minutes, right? So now you're having what I like about that. I, I joke with my kids. Daddy is a salesman. Daddy is not saving the world, right? I'm not. <laughs> what do you mean, Mark? Scientists in the cure for cancer. <laughs> I am not out there marching on human rights. Yeah. I'm a salesman, right? Yeah. But what I do like is that I truly feel that the Itero does improve the standard of care in dentistry because you're getting people to understand what you're looking at, right? And you're starting at the end. You're going for the full comprehensive dentistry instead of going with reactionary, mm -hmm. right? In this day and age, we can't be a practice where it's like, ooh, my tooth hurts, I'm gonna go to a dentist. Yeah. No, I've been going to a dentist every six months for the last 20 years, and I've seen that you have malocclusion. I've seen that you have you know, poor hygiene habits. I've seen this, that, and the other. We need to educate these patients. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about treatment acceptance with that, a lot of reps actually get mad at, doc uh, a lot of doctors get mad at reps when they talk about treatment acceptance because they're like, this isn't about the money. I'm not trying to sell my patients. We don't want to be a salesy office. You know, this is about care. Well, it, here's it like, so I says so, like, a, so Dennis on Demand is a, like a growth platform, like get over it. Um, if you're, if you're getting case acceptance, you're just helping more people. You got into dentistry to do dentistry. Sure, it's great to be conservative and not go over the top and, and push procedures and, and things on people that don't need that, that treatment. But if you're, if you're detecting some, something that inadvertently stops something from being that much worse in the future, you're doing a service to your patient. Right. So it's a business. And we, we were just on a call with uh, the last our last show was just with uh, uh, Gordon Chi and 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 uh, Sonny Verdi. And the business part of dentistry, like in school in Canada, they get a half an hour on it. <laughs> So it's all about like being in the mouth and, and doing, you know, medical treatment to people. But you, sh you should be doing, you're doing your patients a service if, if you're guiding them through. Maybe, you know, if, if we're talking about like airway and all that stuff, you're adding years to people's lives, right? Um, <laughs> and, and you're saving them long term. If it's like a simple carry that needs to be, you know, something done with it. Yep. That's great. Yep. <laughs> Why not make your I, life I've easier? I've been dental for 11 years. Yeah. I've yet to meet a dentist or have a conversation with a dentist where he's like, I just did 10 crowns on that guy and he didn't need anything, but yeah. I have bills to pay. Like, it doesn't yeah. happen. No. If you see something, you prescribe a treatment. If yeah. you don't have the proper tools to get them to say yes to treatment, not selling, educating, Yes. then shame on you. You have to convince them because otherwise yeah. they're going to continue hurting themselves. Well, yeah, and like us putting our our sales hats aside, and that's that's kind of what it's all about. Like, obviously, you know, we make our our living on 
you know, you more than me <laughs> make our living on selling these pieces of, of technology. Um, but that's you're 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 yes, obviously willing that piece of equipment in there. But what you're wheeling in more is just sort of the ability to do th- more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely, and and we're we're just talking about the scanner right now, right? Yeah. Digital, you know, digital. You're you're very into the technology stuff, even mm-hmm. more so than me. I kind of think about it as a PBS impression is like taking out a pen and paper and writing a message, whatever it is. Yeah. Digital is opening up a Word document and writing it out. Mm-hmm. With digital, I can then take that that sentence, I can change it over here, I can delete it, I can highlight it, I can b- change the, the art to it, I can put it in a PowerPoint presentation, I can put it on my website, I can send it out on social media, I can do so much with it. Yeah. Scanning, yeah. if you haven't got a scanner yet, because you're like, ah, my PBS impressions are pretty good, but there's so much more that's coming out now, right? They, it's that, They are good, I'm it's sure. Design, it's yeah. smile design software, it's getting a chair side printer, chair side mill, it's marrying it to CBCT for guided surgery. It's so much more. It's so it, it's so it's so rad. Like um, I've I've been witness to this exact thing where a, a scan has come in immediately and the laboratory is looking at the scan on the phone and talking about the prep and saying, you need to zip off here, here and here. Yep. And then we're good. Like you can't do that. <laughs> like in terms of a communication tool, you're you're. Yep. You know, once you master the the skill and and the scan patterns and all that, it's just it's putting you in a better place to do and to do, patient. and the patient in a better place. Yeah, and I like, mean, I don't know about you, Mark. I know you got a young family. Everyone is busy these days. Yeah. yeah. If I can knock off an extra appointment because I'm able to scan quickly, show, diagnose, show you the issue, and then show you that outcome, whatever it is, restorative or ortho, and say, this is what you're going to look like you want to move forward. You just knocked off two, three appointments for me. That's yeah. me not taking time off work, moving around my kid's schedule, trying to balance between baseball and soccer practice. Well, it's not I, only doing that, Mark, like that, it's the time thing too. But I, you know, I also see it as like making informed decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, if I'm going to be investing in, you know, not everybody has benefits to cover, right? Yep. So if if you're shown black and white examples of you know, you you're you're being taken along that journey with in a way that is understandable and it makes you more confident in taking care of yourself. Yeah. That's what I think yep. it delivers for a patient. I agree completely. Yep. Cool. Um, anything else to add? Anything super exciting uh, with the line and what's what's cool? What's new? What's what are you pumped up about? Like the next three years, five years? What's what's going on? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, I don't know how much you've seen about Smile Architect, but um, I, I'll definitely plug this for a second. And it's nice sure. because here I am, a salesman. I'm not selling you anything. It's mm-hmm. Smile Architect. I don't know exactly but the dollar amount, but I believe it was about half a billion dollars that Align paid for ExoCAD, one, probably the second biggest uh, CAD CAM design company in the world. Mm-hmm. We p- did this about three years ago. Granted, it was during COVID and all that, but coming from the implant world and everything and just general dentistry that I know, I was excited for this. I'm like, okay, no more. You know, you're the plastic company, the clear liner company, right? We're going to get more and more into restorative. It's been about three years and crickets like we haven't heard a word from our company about what they're doing about this right finally like days before pdc which was perfect for me um they announced smile architect so now you take a scan you take one photo we need that facial photo it has to be on the invisalign app a little catch there but it has to be on the app and then um when you have your clean check you just automatically have full facial design software on there it's a free service, and uh, you don't uh, you can do ortho only or ortho and restorative. So, kind of what this looks like. I don't know if you're familiar, Mark, with uh, Christian Coachman Digital Smile Design. Um, no. Okay, he's out of Spain. Kind of the grandfather of all this face design stuff. Um, that's a better software for sure. There, there's some features to it that are mind blowing, but. It costs, I think, 3500 American to get kind of certified. I believe there's a monthly fee. It's about $1,000 per case oh, wow. to have to do the work. And you have to use certain labs, and there's all these rules and everything. Yeah. It's a, clo- a closed closed system. 
yeah, Align paid all this money for this, and it is a free software. It's already in your ClinCheck software. Just use it. It's there. So it's a simple update, and it's on the software. Yeah, you're not even going and seeking out any updates. It's there already. Oh, that's you're amazing. So cool. to kind of quickly summarize, it's full control. It's not this cheesy little like, oh, let's just take this like type it on mouth and put it in there. So like, <laughs> that could be you. Yeah. No, no, no. It's tooth by tooth. I want rounded edges, straight edges. Yeah. I can now click it, change the size, the scale, whatever, change the yeah. opacity, see how it works for the lip line. You have the facial lines. You even have tooth mass analysis of, hey, you want to do some veneers? We need to reduce this much because you have this big deep bite. <laughs> if we do ortho first, we then need to reduce this much. Now mm -hmm. we can have that comprehensive conversation before we administer any anesthetic, before we do this first attachment, they know start to finish what they're going to look like. Wow, so cool. So like um, this is all 3D then too? So the face, it doesn't spin around. Gotcha, okay. The, the, like, 3D, yeah. the design is 3D. The mm -hmm. mouth, you can have the mouth on the side and spin it around to design the teeth. Mm -hmm. Once you put the face, that's 2D. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of, uh, there's a few companies out there that are like, they're, they've are they tried to put out that software. There's a preview, a few of them. Uh, I, th I think it's a really great case acceptance tool, like um, giving sort of that snapshot of like what can be. Um, I know Bellis 3D really, I, they've since uh, are gone now. It's just unfortunate. They did the whole 3D version of that uh uh, I remember using that software to do those 3D masks. So like during yeah, COVID yeah, and whatnot, yeah. um, super cool. Um, that, you know, if that sells X amount more cases, or if you, you know, it's not about selling, sorry. If that helps you take that patient along the journey that much easier and make them understand what, what a possible outcome is, this is like, we want to make sure that like, we're not promise over promising, you know, this is going to be an exact, right. But, um, not to mention just elevating your practice. I mean, yeah. you, you could have a tiny little two op practice and now you could do this advanced smile design software and show super boutique. Exactly. Yeah. Right? And you know what, like the people that are implementing these tools in their practice are killing it. So, um, and I know the people that aren't are still taking care of people, but this is the game we play in, right? Where we're taking care of people and, you know, um, don't look at us too as, as salespeople. Like obviously our, our, we depend on moving these pieces of technology through the warehouse and in, into the practice and signing these deals or whatnot. But um, Mark, you're somebody that I, I see like truly believes in the product. You, you love the company that you work for. And through you, I see that, you know, there's genuine intention there, I think, you know, to do the right thing, to advance the industry, to, to do the right thing for the patient. And uh, um, you're always excited. It's great. I, I, I love chatting with you. You're, you're very good at what you do. I understand why you're, you know, why you're widely sought out for, for your services. So um, I, I am passionate about it. You know, mm -hmm. you got to. Sure, I can go out there and sell whatever I got to sell, but hey, careers are long. You have to have some intrinsic reward of mm -hmm. thinking you're making a difference, you're helping out, you're doing something of some value, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, I mean, I'm tooting your horn here, uh, but uh, that, I think that's what your, your mantra is good. I think your heart is in the right place. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, anything more uh, to add here before we, we, we close things up? No. Can no more call? plugs you could, come on you got you got some more plugs come on there's something going on <laughs> no, no, no. i mean if you're ever interested in learning a little bit more you know having me come into the office reach out to me um mark i don't know if you want to go up my contact or if you're going to add that well I'll, I'll i'll have it all added in the in the description perfect and yeah. i just really as, as you just said i i do believe that i'm that kind of person where i'm trying to do the right thing so if you have interest about it don't think I'm going to come in and I'm going to sit there staring at you until you buy a scanner. I'm not leaving. <laughs> it's education. Oh, I know. If I came, yeah. come in and show your whole team the scanner and they're all, I leave and they're all like, that was a great presentation. I yeah. learned a lot. You know, oh man, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll leave with this story. Like just going into a practice and you have that receptionist just like, yeah, let, just leave your card. That's great. You got some, a flyer. Yeah. Yeah. Just put it on the table. Thank you. You got yeah. a card. Like, yeah give everybody a chance because like 
people are are here to provide value so you know listen i guess i don't know a lot of people out there are listening but anyways yeah, yeah, that's my no, but, uh, i get it i get it. i mean hey they got to protect their doctors from taking all day long right because it's not just the scanner salesman the implant salesman is yeah. there and the composite salesman and the paper supply salesman and the phone distance long yeah distance. May, maybe they're doing that because they like it stresses them out because then the the dentist is out and just like very talkative and wastes a lot of time who knows yeah right? exactly right <laughs> <laughs> this is worth your time Get, getting into digital technology and scanning it's yeah. an inevitable part of the future so you know get it, into it well it, it, it's where it's now right so invest in the right tool and then make sure that you're with the right team that will make sure that you're using that tool to its full potential of what it was made to do yeah absolutely cool thank you for uh thanks for your time mark appreciate it Thanks for having me on. I think this is awesome. This dentist on demand is the greatest idea and I, I love that you're doing this. So thanks for having me. I, I like to think so. Anyways. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks. All right, Mark. Take care. All right. Take care.